Hey everybody, what's going on today? We got something real good for you. We got the tall neck from Horizon Zero Dawn, Forbidden West. Either is fine. Set 76989. It's coming at you with 1,222 pieces. And look at it. Should be a good one. I'm a big fan of the game. And I've heard great things about the set. So expectations are quite high on this one. Let's check out the back. Look at that. Got a nice base here with a tree watcher, the tall neck, of course. An amazing looking Aloy minifigure. Let's get this box open. Before we get started, if you're a Lego enthusiast such as myself, Go ahead and get yourself subscribed because that's what we do here. We do it all and we're always improving. And one more thing, thank you for watching. Punch tabs, unfortunately. Some of the Speed Champions sets would put that to shame. Most. This looks like we got eight numbered bags, small sticker sheet, a vine element, small plate. Uh, well, not that small, eight by two, four, six, eight, ten, four, four, eight by 16, and one booklet with a little bit on the back. To us were left the wonders of creation, beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. Quote from the game. All right, let's build it.
Isn't it magnificent? Look at the state of this beautiful creature. Everything about it is just wonderful. I'm going to not muck about it. I'm going to get straight into the rating for this one. For experience, I'm giving it a 9. It's a lot more than I expected at the price. I know it's 18 plus, but it's not that expensive. It's like 110 Canadian, which is pretty cheap, honestly, for what you get. I was definitely not expecting the instructions to have additional artwork. I wasn't expecting to be as impressed as I am with the minifigure. The minifigure is absolutely incredible. I was expecting some stickers, but there really aren't many, not many at all. And another part of the experience that really drove it home for me, I want to mention, is I did it all in one sitting. It took uh, two or three hours, but there's something to be said about sitting down, um, opening the box and going start to finish and having something as wonderful as this to show for it. It's fantastic. For accessibility, I'm gonna go in with an eight. It's a good enough price to start with that I feel it's not too much of a stretch for most people who are into Lego, even if you need to save up a little bit to get into this without too much struggle. Um, it's widely available. I see it everywhere. I've seen it at Walmart, I've seen it at bookstores, uh, Lego, obviously, Amazon, wherever, you name it. The only thing keeping it back from a higher score is I really don't see it go on sale often. That might be different where you're from, but here in Canada, I've I looked online and it's only gone on sale on Amazon once since it's been on there. Uh, and very, very briefly for like one day and then it went right back up to retail. The build we're going in with another nine. The techniques are very interesting on this build, uh, especially in the middle section. It's very dense in the tall necks middle section. Uh, also the base plate and the head, the head is almost perfectly circular and it's all just built up. It's absolutely fantastic uh there are some simple parts but it's nice it's just it's well paced value we're going in with yet another nine the price is right on this one it doesn't need to go on sale to be a good value you get a good price per part you get cool parts that you could definitely use elsewhere in interesting colors like sand blue and some of the golds you also get some added bonuses, such as the base plate, the watcher. Uh, the minifigure is incredible on this. I just, I have nothing bad to say about the minifigure. It's so beautiful and perfect. I suspect in the future, that little minifigure is going to be worth a small fortune. Mark your calendar. Clever Pig says this, 2023. That thing's going to be worth a lot in the future. Final product, we're gonna finish off strong again with another nine. It's perfect, it does what it says it's going to do. I look at the box, I see this. I want something tall, like the tall neck is, compared to the minifigure. I want to, uh, I see the plate, I want it to display well, and it does exactly that. Uh, I'm not expecting a play set, uh, and it's not. Uh, there are some, Posability, but really not much. I probably wouldn't leave it out of this uh, stance. Uh, you can tilt the head back, but that's not really accurate to what it's like in the game. So that's just my personal preference. Um, the only thing holding it back is perhaps it would have been nice to get a little display plaque, but I've seen some people make the stickers. You can order them elsewhere if you really want. Uh, it's amazing. Add it all up and you get 44 out of 50 or an 88%. That's making it a super excellent buy. I would highly recommend it. I'm just absolutely, I'm a fan of the game making me slightly biased. I'll be the first to admit. But even for people who aren't fans of the game, I think you will appreciate this. It's really cool. Um, just the idea, the art of the machine. It looks like a big giraffe, but made out of metal. Really cool. I think you'll really enjoy this. It's a fun build. It's a good value. I just, I cannot say enough good things. It's amazing. If you're interested in it, highly recommend picking it up. I've heard it's going to be retired this year. 
Um, I'm just so pleased. It's amazing. I love it. I love it so much. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, and let me know your opinions on this one down in the comments. I really want to know them. How do you feel about this set? This is probably going to go down in history as one of my all-time favorites. It's, it's magnificent. I love it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.